The cover page is the first formatted page in the document that typically includes the title of the document and the author's name. Now you can go ahead and create your own or you can come up here and insert one. Go to the pages group and there you go cover page. Your document will make a great first impression with the stylish cover page. Oh I'm convinced. Let's go ahead and click on the drop down arrow and see what they got. Find one that you want to work with and I say work with because after you insert it you can tweak it. So let's go ahead and click on that one. Pushes down the first page to make way for the cover page and if you want to work with the image, go ahead and select it. You can resize it. You got your formatting controls for the picture here. You can also right click on it to change the picture to another one on your computer or online. I'm going to click off and leave it as is. And it says over here, at least in this template, the one that I chose, that you can draw your reader in with an engaging abstract. And it's typically a short summary of the document. When you're ready, just go ahead and click and start typing to add your own summary. There, that's pretty short. Now let me go ahead and click off. And how did it know my name? Oh, well, that's curious. And where is this coming from? FamilyEHealth.com and Dreamforce.us. Well, when you go ahead and click, you get this content box here. It's pulling this, and you can see the tag is title. It's pulling it from backstage in the properties. So the properties of the document, which includes the title of the document, the subtitle, and when I click in here, the author, well, you can go ahead and make the changes here and it'll update the properties backstage or you can go backstage, file, info selected by default. So just come over here to the properties section and well, there you go. You've got the title and I can't see the subtitles so we can scroll down and say that we want to show all properties. Now, even though I said show all, it's not showing all of them, which we'll go over in just a minute. And you can see, well, it says subtitle, but it's the subject, which has my URL there. Let's go ahead and for the subject or subtitle, as it were, let's do, and then for the actual title, let's do, okay, so any changes I make here, if it's pulling in that field, the template that I chose, it should reflect, let me go back. Hey, there we go, Spirit of Freedom and Freedom 101. Great. And then what about the course title? Where is that coming from? It says course, but I didn't see a field back there. So how about if I just go ahead and type in something because this is how I find or find how Word is interpreting that field or where it's being pulled from. That when I remember what I typed in that field and I go backstage file, I come over here to properties. I don't see the word something. So we can go ahead and click on properties and go to more advanced properties. Click on the summary tab. And do you see something there? Of course you do. And so it's pulling it from the category field, which you can't see it over here in any case. So for that field that's on the cover page, instead of having something, let's do, maybe that's my category. And then for keywords, I'm going to type in something here because as we learned in an earlier training video, if you want to be able to pull in some fields from the properties here, well, it's good to have something in there, and I'll show you how you can pull in keywords if you like. But the whole purpose of the keywords is that when you want to do a search for this document, and in the document you don't have anything like, let's say, tyranny or tyrant, things like that, then Word's not going to find the document. But if you want it searchable by the keywords here, that's not within the document, then go ahead and type it there and you'll find it. In any case, we'll add that. Click okie dokie. Click back, and it updates the course, which is tied to the category field, Constitution and Bill of Rights. Let me go ahead and click off to take a look at that. Okay, not too bad. Um, if I don't like the text above it, I can delete it, or I can just type in, you know, something that looks nice there. And if you want to be able to disconnect from the properties backstage, like when somebody updates the, let me right-click the category, and it pulls into the course, and you don't want it to be pulled in, or vice versa, then in the right click of that content field, you can go ahead and remove the content control so it no longer is updated in either direction, either here to backstage or backstage from the properties to here. Let me go ahead and click at the end, hit enter, and as we learned in an earlier training video, you can insert the property fields by coming up here on the insert tab to the text group and clicking on quick parts. And there you go, document property. 
and you can pull in the keywords if you'd like. Just whatever you see there. It's in the property field, backstage. Go ahead and select it to pull it in and let's go ahead and click off. Well, makes no sense to do it in this cover page here. Let me hit undo, but nonetheless, it's a nice refresher to know that when you create a cover page, where the fields are being pulled from, and if you want to go ahead and tweak it and pull other fields from the properties, well, through the quick parts, you can do that. And then, of course, to show you the other way, if I go ahead and make some changes here, like Kurt Kershaw's. So when I update the author, it's going to update it backstage in the spirit of, and we get rid of freedom, and we just do dot, 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 freedom 101. Okay, let's go ahead and go backstage, file. Let's see, spirit of freedom, it's not updating there. So let's go ahead and click on properties and go to advanced properties because it will show it up there. Probably when we close out and open up our Word document again, refresh the program as it were, it should update it here. And also, there I am, plural, many Kershaws, but we'll go back to Kershaw and click okie dokie, hit back, and we're back to a single Kershaw and not many. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.